everybody. Welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. That fuzzy, crazy one is Freya. She's probably going to come back up here because she's quirk. Because <laughs> she's quirk. Crazy. She's crazy. Yes, you are. You're crazy. <laughs> and I'm Jason, and we're bringing you today's video. As always, guys, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We've got a bunch of videos coming out. And again, small family channel, me, the fuzzy one, the wife. We just love to talk about books. And we're going to keep talking about books no matter what, but we would appreciate any support that you guys might want to give us. So for today's video, today I want to talk about an author I've talked about in the past. Um, he's written a couple books that I absolutely love. And although he writes under a number of different names, so this might sound new-ish. I want to talk about John Van Stry and his series Portals of Infinity. I want to talk about book one. This is actually one of a, the longer series. He also writes in her... Uh, Jan Strivant, Jan Van Stry, you know, a couple different, uh, couple different names. The uh, Strivant ones, I've talked about Shadow and a few others. So this one, this is actually one of his older series. I believe this one started in like 2012 or something along those lines, but he's still writing it. The, the uh, most recent book came out a couple years ago, and he writes a lot of different stuff, so it's not, you know, churn and burn, but they're, they're absolutely fantastic. So as always, I'm going to talk about four things. I'm going to talk about the world-ish character, plot, writing style. So for the first book of this series, now what's different with this series from those of you guys that may know of Strivant's other books and some of the other things he has written, what's different about this one is that while this is, this would count as the quote-unquote harem lit, uh, there actually aren't any adult scenes in it. It's definitely fade to black, which makes it a lot more mainstream. This this would absolutely fit in mainstream, uh, mainstream fantasy novels. So the, the plot of this particular, or the world of this particular book, it's actually multiple worlds. It's called Portals, Portals of Infinity for a reason. So it's multiple, multiple worlds. And I'm going to talk about that when I get to the plot. So the main character, his name is Will. He's your normal, everyday, everyday kind of guy. Now this time, instead of the, the usual died and take transported to another world or the virtual reality one, I've actually really drifted away from those kind of books. Um, for some reason, the VR video game type of plot just doesn't do it for me anymore. Um, he is actually one of a select few people that are born with the ability to travel through portals, to sense them, to feel them, to actually use them. And there's apparently portals all around the world. Now, he initially is just kind of your everyday guy. He was an engineer. He's kind of your everyday guy. He's got a, you know, few skills more than than some others. You know, he's he's... He's done a little bit of martial arts and so on and so forth, but initially he's just kind of your your everyday sort of guy. Now the plot plot is pretty basic. He travels. He accidentally travels through a portal, uh, kind of trips, stumbles, sort of thing. Travels through a portal, uh, discovers a few things, a couple ways to make some money, and discovers kind of sort of a pretty cool little world. This one has magic. This this world is your swords and sorcery type of of of, of world and uh, makes some friends and thinks it's just kind of a cool place. And he travels back and forth between the worlds for a little while, Gets uh, um, ends up getting fired from his job, realizes he's actually got more money in this other world because he was able to bring a few things through that he was able, that, that he was able to sell for very large amounts of money and has gained some really, really interesting and I won't say powerful, but... but uh, well-known, uh, upstanding citizen-type friends, and then with his money starts making himself an upstanding citizen of his own, and uh, realizes just this world is just better. So he 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 decides that he's probably going to make this his primary home. He ends up getting trapped back on Earth, and has to work his way back through. And this is how that this is how he ends up discovering that he's not unique. That there are other people that can see these portals, and that there are other portals. And from that he ends up in another world, and this other world is also fantasy-esque. However, in this particular world, and for those of you guys that are fans of Strive At, this may not surprise you any, um, these people are cat people, anthropomorphic cats. Um, and when you travel through a portal, you automatically become whatever the dominant species there is. So he becomes, Will becomes one of these cat people. And he's uh, he's sent there in in kind of a deal you know if you if you do this you go to this world do what we ask we will send you back to the world that you wanted to go to that that uh, he had actually married somebody in and 
uh, owns a business in now and has become one of the leading citizen type of people. But he has to go to this cat person world first and accomplish what needs to be accomplished. So he goes there. He ends up, uh, I'm not going to go too much into the plot uh, without, I don't want to give away spoilers, but he ends up, he ends up in, uh, in this particular world, marries the queen, <laughs> wins a war, fights a war, wins a war. Throughout this time, he's also been studying swordsmanship, fighting, things along those lines, making himself stronger and stronger. And the book, he... This book, he ends up meeting some gods. He ends up becoming the champion of the god, of one of the gods. And he discovers, this is an entire thing. It's called Portals of Infinity because this, this series, it revolves around the fact that there are portals to multiple worlds, multiple dimensions. You've got your swords and sorcery. You've got your, your anthropomorphic cats. You've, you've got worlds that operate under entirely different types of physics. You, have, you also have worlds that are just like our world, only slightly different you know they're not all swords of sorcery some have guns some have tanks some have airplanes some have the internet uh but they but you know they may have magic they may not have magic maybe maybe there's one world that uh um you know that that uh that men are the weaker species maybe there's another one i don't i'm going to start getting into spoilers if i start listing off some of these other worlds so the writing style those of you guys that have read uh strivant or van stry before know what his writing style is but i have to say this series is absolutely phenomenal. When it comes to a fantasy-esque type of series, especially because it goes into different worlds, this series is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I still prefer the Shadow Book and its sequel, but this series, I'm, I'm, I think it's 10 or 11 books in the series, and I'm already through four or five in the last couple of days. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. I cannot recommend the series strongly enough if you are a fantasy fan. So hopefully you guys check this out after you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Go check out Portals of Infinity Book 1 by John Van Stry. We will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.